Good morning, Pastor Mike, Central Lutheran Church, Wichita, Kansas. Scruffy, greasy, unkept. Not the traits you'd hope for in a doctor, but in a mechanic, good by me. I stopped in to get some work done on the 14-year-old GMC. She's of the age that I still love her, but really wanted to be wise to which restaurants I treat her. I wanted to find a doctor extremely knowledgeable with low overhead. Max came highly recommended. 25 years in a GM shop, now on his own. Knows his way around 5.3 liter V8s. Runs a one-man show, just him and vehicles and lots of tools. Four bays for car surgery in various stages, open hood, missing tire, a rebuilt engine hanging on a chain lift like an artificial heart ready to be dropped into place. Max looked tired, said it had been a crazy week. I can only imagine how the current used car inventory is impacting his business, probably in a good but constantly behind sort of way. His, a calling to repair cars. Paul in Ephesians 4 speaks of us living lives worthy of the calling we've received. The calling of belonging to Jesus' family, of being rescued by His life, redeemed by His death of being claimed by His Spirit in baptism, kept full of His Spirit forever, a life responding to God's work in us and for us, a life lived in the shadow of the cross and in the awe of the rock rolled away. Paul speaks of two key traits in that chapter, unity and work. Seeking unity in our relationships, avoiding conflict, treating one another with humility, respect, and gentleness, putting the best construction on what is said and done, even if it wasn't done your way. Serving people by working for them, with them, each of us doing the part we were designed to do, be it repair cars, prepare dinner, or sharing the good news of Jesus. God created us to work, not as an end point, but as a means to an end, as a way to create good for people, to create unity among people. There's nothing like a good mechanic to help you feel better about the world. Jesus is our divine mechanic who repairs and restores. Have a blessed day.